All right, we are looking at Art 1, Chapter 1, oops, Chapter 1. So we are going to take some notes based on our book here, which is Art Talk, and then you go ahead and read the chapter and you will have an assignment. Um, based on uh, the reading and the notes here and the um, homework assignment is in the book. So we're going to just take a little bit of notes here and, um, and that'll be it for your um, note taking lecture time today. <clears throat> so we're going to start talking about the language of art. And these notes come directly from the book. I just took the most important things um, out of the book. So as you um, read the book, these are the things that are kind of the most important parts. So the language of art, um, art is used as a communication tool. We're trying to communicate something with art. And um, what we do is we share our ideas and feelings Um, and we can um, we can share with with art and communication. Um, we can use words. We can speak spoken or written in art or in art. So art is used to communicate. Um, we're going to talk about some elements and principles of art. Um, art has its own language, so that there, there are things that we talk about in art. There are words that we use <clears throat> that we might use a little bit differently in art that you might use um, than, than what you might use them uh, day to day in other ways. So um, art has its own language. Just kind of like math has its own language. There, there are words that we use in different ways in math than we do day to day in, in, in our regular speaking uh, and communication. So elements of art. Here are some elements of art. Um, one is a symbol. <clears throat> and this um, symbol, it stands for some, something else. stands for or represents something else. So for instance, here's a symbol for um, a male. Here is a symbol for female. Um, you might see when you are looking for a place in a restaurant that looks like this so that you know where to go to the bathroom. Um, a number, another symbol, um, like a religious symbol you might see pretty often is just like a cross. There are many, many symbols in a in, um, variety of religions. There are uh, lots of symbols that we use for different things. Um, and then there are other examples of elements of art. Here are some other examples of elements. Um, some elements of art also include line, shape, form, space, color, value, texture. So these are, we're listing a bunch of stuff here, but these, these are things that we're going to be looking at in more depth throughout the year. So you don't, don't feel like you have to know all of this stuff right now, but 
we're kind of just kind of dipping our toe into the languages of art or the language of art here. <clears throat> Um, and then um, this next bit here for the last of our notes, we're going to talk about the media and processes of art. So when we talk about media in art, we're not talking about the news media or anything like that. Um, uh, we're, we're talking about what material is used to make the art. And so we call that media. We also call that medium, the medium that we use. So this is um, the material. Used to make the art. And um, we also use the word media to refer to, to what something is made out of. All right, we are gonna just look at one other thing. Um, perception. Now, um, perception, so we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about some different media and processes of art, but um, like actual ones like drawing and painting and printmaking and stuff like that. So we're going to look at some different media and stuff, but we're, before we do that, we're going to look at um, something called perception. And this is a pretty important part of art. And um, this is the, art, the, the act of looking at something Um, looking at something and thinking about what is seen. So anytime you look at a painting or a picture, a drawing, whatever, you have a certain perception of that piece of art. So um, for instance, you might look at this um, picture that's right there at the beginning of our chapter here. And you are going to look at this and you're going to see something in it that relates to you. And someone else is going to see something else. And someone else is going to see something else. And they're going to notice different parts of this painting. And they're going to have a different perception of what's going on here and um, you're gonna feel differently about it than, um, than other people. And so your perception is the way you look and think about a piece of art. And um, that is it for this part of the notes. And now you can go ahead and um, look at the assignment, read what you're supposed to read, and do the homework assignment um, along with it. Good luck.